Hey there, thank you for tuning in to SimTech channel, the best channel to learn power system analysis. Now, if you recall on the tutorial, the second part of the tutorial on power system harmonics analysis, we basically came into an observation that changing the short circuit current have an effect on the total harmonic distortion on your system and towards the end of that tutorial there was a request to drop a comment on the comment section basically explaining why is the case so in this tutorial we basically going to try to break down uh, that observation why does uh, changing the characteristics of the short circuit characteristics of your generator have an impact on the harmonics distortion that you measure so we'll basically cover that by going to four points so the first point will be the short circuit current and the generator impedance relationship then the second point will be the harmonics and impedance interaction basically your harmonics they also take account of the overall impedance of your system then the third point will be the overall system response of your system how the system resonance and amplification works in in terms of the harmonics current then lastly we're going to briefly discuss how the THT measurement are done and the implications relating to the impedance of the system how it affect your THD measurement so if you want to find out how your total harmonics distortion on your circuit are related to the overall impedance of the circuit please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial so without any further ado let's get started so why does decreasing the short circuit current of a generator result in a higher total harmonic distortion thd and inversely increasing the short circuit current reduces the thd so let's break it down in a few points and remember if you find value in this content please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel there is also a call to join simtech channel membership that way you will receive assistance in your power system studies great so the first point is the relationship between the generator maximum short circuit current and its internal impedance right so here we've got a five kilo ohms of maximum short circuit current for this generator when we execute the maximum short circuit current we get five kilo ohms of short circuit current on the generator bus bar now these five kilo ohms is related to the generator internal impedance right so a higher short circuit current means a lower impedance and a lower short circuit current means a higher impedance so if we change this back to 43 kilo amps and execute a short circuit calculation we can see we're getting 43 kilo amps so that basically just means there is a change in the impedance of a generator basically a lower impedance now how does this affect the harmonics? Because when we run the harmonics calculation here, we can see that we're getting a 0.5% harmonics, total harmonic distortion on this bus bar here at a lower voltage, we're getting a 3.7. But when we're changing it back to uh, 5 kilo amps, that means now there is a lower short circuit current and there is a higher impedance. Now, a higher impedance will then give us a 4.1% THD on this bus bar and a 7.4% THD at the lower voltage bus bar. So what's going on here? When the generator's impedance increases due to a lower short circuit current, it basically opposes harmonics current more strongly because there is a higher impedance there. Now, but this basically creates a higher voltage distortion in the system leading to a higher thd as you can see here on this point here and on this point here based on the lower short circuit current which result in a higher impedance on the generator or overall impedance of the system the second point is that in our harmonics uh, analysis here we took the harmonics current and refer them to fundamental currents so what does this mean this basically mean that the harmonics currents they depend on the impedance of harmonic frequency when the generator's impedance increases it creates a larger voltage drop across the network for this harmonic current this basically amplify the harmonics voltage at the particular point as we've seen here 
at this point here and at this point on the other hand lowering the generator's impedance uh, basically a higher short circuit current allows fewer harmonics voltage to basically develop keeping the thd lower the third point we're going to make is the system response in the harmonics calculation so a generator with a higher impedance can basically shift the system response closer to dominant harmonics basically the higher order harmonics maybe the fourth seventh or the eleventh harmonics now when this happens these harmonics current they then amplified further increasing the thd at the particular bus bar so in contrast a lower impedance on the generator basically shift the resonant point away from harmful harmonics uh, thus reducing the potential for amplification which would have then result in a higher harmonics distortion on the system great now the fourth point we're going to make is how the thd total harmonic distortions measurements are done so basically thd is the ratio of the harmonics voltage component to the fundamental frequencies as we've seen so with higher generator impedance more harmonics voltages are present raising the harmonics level okay so conversely a generator with a lower impedance will then support fewer harmonics voltages which will then result in a lower thd measurement so what are the practical implication of this in your power system network so generator with higher short circuit current ratings basically lower impedance are better at keeping thd low because they minimize harmonic voltage distortion so that's what you need to know right now the second point is if you are working with a generator with low short circuit current if you are working with a generator with a lower short circuit current consider adding harmonics filters or returning the system to avoid resonant with dominant harmonics so the key points the key takeaways in this short tutorial is that decreasing your generator or your external grid short circuit current will increase its impedance okay and that will result in a higher thd for your network and inversely uh, increasing the short circuit current will then reduce uh, its impedance which will result in a lower thd as we have seen so that's it uh, guys uh, now you know how the generator short circuit current uh, can influence the thd uh, in your power system harmonics analysis so if this explanation helped you please make sure you give this tutorial a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel until next time cheers